<laughs> Just kidding. Who knows what intro this was? Um, so today we are creating the super cool minimalistic intro for logos you can use for your corporate or your YouTube channel or as a intro for travel videos, for example. So this video will be made out of four steps. So we are creating this intro step by step. It's not too long overall. So we are starting right away with the first step. Have fun. And of course, don't forget to give this video a thumb up. Appreciate it. Thank you. The first step will be to create the uh, A, so the main logo. Therefore, we are simply creating a new overlay title and changing the length to six seconds. By the way, this is a 30 FPS timeline. Then double tap this overlay title, go to titles and delete the text. Add a new text, change the um, font to something cool. I will choose Lulu Clean One Bold and then simply type in a letter you want the logo to be off. So um, in my case, I will just do the A again. But in your case, you have to choose a letter you want to use for your brand or for your YouTube channel or whatever. But the steps to build up the logo out of the letter are the same. So as said, we will go with an A. Then change the size of the A to something bigger and place it almost in the middle or so something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then, in order to make the A a little more special, we are adding shapes to mask parts of the A. Normally, what you have to do is to add a shape, change the color to black, and then hide the part of the A you don't want to see. To make it more clear for you, I will change the face color to blue, just for you, that you can see what I'm doing, because the background is black as well. You have to use black face colors. It's okay. And what you have to do is to mask away the parts of the letter you don't want to have. I'm going to speed this a little bit up for you. So this is it. So I've masked away the parts of the AI I don't want to show and I've created a cool logo out of the letter. And now in order to make it right, I will change the face color of all the shapes. So this is it, how it should look in your case. And now what we have to do is to add another shape change the face color to black and to resize it until it fits the whole screen and replace it beneath the A, so like this. And that's it, that's the first step. The second step is to add those little masking bars. And this process is pretty, pretty simple. What we are going to do is to add another overlay title above the A, double tap to edit, delete the text and add a shape and choose the one pixel line. And now just place the one pixel line where you want the mask to be. Be sure to be very precise as with masking the letter to get the right angles and so on. I would recommend choosing a different face color than white just for the placement so you can see what you're doing. As before, I will speed this a little bit up for you. So the placement of the lines is done right now 
And what we have to do now is to change the color to white again. And to look at the result, we can simply hide the line with the bold A. And this is how it looks, looks pretty cool to me. Then simply change the length to eight seconds and place it in the main layer and place the bold A, so the logo itself, in the fourth layer like this with a gap of one second between uh, the beginning here and the starting of the bold A. So this start at eight seconds and this at nine seconds. The third step will be to add the animation to those two layers. And therefore, set a cut at two seconds like this above two layers. So you've got a two second piece and a one second piece and repeat this at the end like this. And then double tap the two second piece at the beginning, go to frame and fit and cropping and set a keyframe at the beginning to start the animation. Then change the size of this yellow box so it almost fits the uh, lines you've created. Then move on 15 frames like this and place the yellow box so it reveals only half of your logo. Then move on another 15 frames and reveal the whole logo. And at the beginning change the size of the yellow box so the whole logo is hidden. So now you're revealing the logo itself step by step. Okay, We are going to repeat this at the end, just the opposite. So we are starting with a keyframe at one second sorry, of course, at cropping with the whole logo revealed like this. Then we're moving on another 15 frames and hiding about half of the logo and setting another keyframe at the end, hiding the complete logo like this. <clears throat> and what we've created now is a pretty simple animation revealing the frame of the letter. Now, in order to complete the whole animation, what you have to do is to animate the bold letter as well. Then we are going to frame and fit and cropping and we are repeating the whole process of before, sending a keyframe at the beginning, hiding the whole logo and then at 15 frames revealing half of the logo and at one second revealing the whole logo. So we've got this double animation and this looks pretty cool. And we have to repeat this at the end, of course, as well. So a keyframe at the at cropping, a keyframe at the beginning, showing the whole logo. Move on 15 frames, set a keyframe, hiding half of the logo, and at the end, hiding the whole logo. So as at the beginning, we've got this double animation at the end too. To make the background clear, we have to add some dark luma key to the logo layer. Therefore, follow the settings on the screen and apply it to all three parts of the logo layer. Now with the key applied to all parts, the next step is to add the text itself. So it's not a big deal. Um, we are simply adding another overlay title, placing it right beneath the main title like this. Of course, changing the font to something cool, whatever you want. Type in your text and place it where you want it to be. So for example, like this. And in order to add the animation, so this flickering effect um, to the text, what you have to do is pretty simple. I won't show the whole process um, because it will take too long, but I will show you what you have to do. 
So in order to create flickering, you have to go to cropping and set keyframes every two seconds. So for example, at the beginning, you're revealing just this, then move on another two frames, reeling, reeling a bit more, then some other parts of the text, and so on and so on. Until after a few frames or one second, you're revealing the whole text. And to make the flickering a bit more special, you can change the opacity of the text fragments you're showing as well. That also increases the flickering effect. And what you can also do is to add some motion effects. So for example, motion 20 and change the radius and the, the angle. And that's what you can do as well. Do this to the whole text itself and you're pretty much done with it. That's all the animation you have to do to the text. Now there's just one last thing to add and that's a little shine around the logo. So we are creating another overlay title, placing it at one second 15 from the beginning, like this, and changing the length to five seconds. So that's it. Double tap to edit, go to title, delete the text, add a shape and change the shape to a shape that fits your logo. In my case, it's a triangle. So it almost has the shape of an A. Change the size to the size you want it to have. So maybe like this. Then go to FX, blur, and add Gaussian 100. Go back to frame and fit, blending, and set the opacity to about 20. So now you have this little glow in the background. And in order to blend it in nicely, set a keyframe at the beginning and one at 15 frames. And at the beginning, set the opacity to zero. So it ramps the, uh, yeah, the background glow. And do the same at the end. And that's it. Now we've created a whole logo animation all in LumaFusion. And I think it's pretty, pretty cool. For those of you who own the LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle, you simply can add um, the flickering effect of one of the minimalistic cinematic titles I've added to the bundle. So you just can copy it, like for example this, copy and paste it. And there will be flickering added to this title as well. That's it. And as always, if you liked the video, it would be amazing if you give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to activate the bell as well so you won't miss any video in future. And I'm always happy to get some comments about some ideas or to know if the stuff I'm showing is cool or not. Thank you very much and we will see each other in the next tutorial. Till then, bye.